Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to trade out my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier Bin print to my Louis Vuitton Capucins BB in Noir. I had said that and then I was proceeding to do that and I was like, should I film this? And then I was like, better yet, I'll film an updated handbag collection uh, video, a current handbag collection video because I haven't done that in a while and you know some people just think oh where did that handbag go and they may not have followed you they had a blog sale or whatnot and then we acquire bags that you don't know about or whatnot I don't some of us in the luxury community do that is such a surprise I actually love that I love when someone's like oh I bought this by the way and you're just like what that's so cool when did you do that so I'm gonna do an updated handbag collection as always, I'm going to go through them, tell you what it is, where I got it, and yes, that is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go over all of them, but if there is a handbag in my current collection you would like me to review, leave it in the comments below. I will go through all the comments and scan them to see. If you have questions on an item, also leave it in the comments below. This will also help me to do some reviews on some of these bags, because Quite frankly, we just acquire items and then we don't really give you our thoughts on them, nor do we review them. And I think just consuming, 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 but not giving the feedback is not really what this community is about. So I am going to do that today. Uh, and yeah, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is just start up with <laughs> what I can reach. This is my Chanel Walk Wallet on Chain. Yes, it's an SLG from Chanel, but a lot of us in the community say it's a bag. So this is it here. It is the classic and I got this um, this year, let's say, from Westfield Bondi Junction Chanel here in Sydney. And I love it. It is so, so gorgeous as a clutch or a little mini downsize bag as a crossbody bag. It's really cute. Sticking with classics, this is my jumbo classic flap with a single flap in the caviar leather and the gold hardware. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is total holy grail and the added feature is that it is the single flap. You don't have to contend with the double flap, which I love. And I got this bag off fashionfile.com and truthfully it is one of my favorite favorite black bags it holds everything I need and it's just a fabulous bag okay we're just staying in the classic family from Chanel this is my vintage classic double flap in the lambskin leather with the gold hardware and this is actually the 18 karat gold hardware I purchased this this was my first ever Chanel bag that I purchased and I got it off the eBay seller, um, Atlantis Tokyo, so it's a Japan consignment store, and they are just fantastic. Their stuff is in such prime condition, it's just beautiful. Uh, so that's where I got it. I have thought about parting with it. I wanted to sell it, I had a few buys, and it just didn't go through, and I don't know, I think maybe it was just meant to be that I wasn't meant to sell it. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I have a few bags in this size though, like my boy, and I don't know, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I never reach for it. I just never reach for it. The double flap doesn't really work for my lifestyle, but nevertheless, it's such a classic, so there it is. Okay, next up is this beauty. This is just one of my new massive, like, obsessions is this bag it is so handy it is just the perfect perfect size this is my Louis Vuitton Capucins BB in the noir in the Terillion leather in the black out with silver hardware and I purchased this off a consignment store in the USA in Chicago called Lux luxury sorry luxury garage sale and that too was an amazing experience. They're really, really great. They have really great items and it's just a gorgeous bag. I've done a what's in my bag on this and I did an unboxing. It's got the beautiful pop 
of Grenard fuchsia inside and it's got the long crossbody strap for shoulder straps. It's just a beautiful bag. So that bag started this whole shenanigans to do a <laughs> updated handbag collection. This is my Chanel Le Boy bag in the black calfskin leather with ruthenium hardware, silver ruthenium hardware. It is absolutely gorgeous and definitely is a classic. Now, boy bags are definitely classics. It's not a trend and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I purchased this bag off of fashionfile.com and it was in amazing condition and I have used it tons and just really enjoy carrying this bag and when I do carry it I just you feel so much more edgy it's not that kind of classic you feel it's really edgy and just so cool I was thinking about this other day if like now my Boston Sulky bag is back in trend because Gucci is having a moment hello return of Gucci they should be very proud over there at Gucci. This is my Gucci Boston Socky Bag. Socky Bag in the tan leather with the fabric and the interlocking GGs. It's top handle and cross body or shoulder, shoulder strap. This I got as my first ever luxury handbag. First ever luxury handbag. And my trip, and I think I documented it, my trip to Hong Kong, one of my first trips to Hong Kong once I opened my store, uh, my boutique, and I got this on Canton Road Gucci, and it was just such an awesome experience to go in and buy it new and just have that whole experience. And I don't reach for it. I do not use it. I'm going to be honest. And I would never consider parting with it because it was my first ever luxury handbag a lot of you told me not to part with it ever because of that so that is my gucci sulky bag next up we have this little beauty i've had a few people say oh my god i'm so happy you still have your nowhere bb and you didn't sell it no i did not sell this bag and yes i do still love it i haven't reached for it lately uh just because i haven't i had a baby and um, I just, yeah, haven't reached for it. Although crossbody is super handy with a child, come to notice. And uh, so this will be great when I get around to using it. Um, although I do worry about color transfer being the fact that it is pre-owned. I did get this again off fashionfile.com. Um, I don't worry about it as much because it is pre-owned and the patina is really beautiful honey color So I don't worry about staining although on the canvas itself I do worry about color transfer because I do wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of jeans here on the side is my luggage tag with the Hawaii Hibiscus on it that I was gifted from my friend Kevin Louis V 83 gifted me this and it's so gorgeous and on the back it has some Chinese characters and I was just so shocked and this, this is just very generous he's so so sweet next bag up is the most highly requested video I get asked to do is an updated wear and tear review on this this is my speedy B 25 in monogram I got this in Rome <laughs> in the Via Codotti boutique, Louis Vuitton boutique. I got it new and wore it all over Europe on our Europe trip in 2014 and I adore it. I reach for it all the time. I, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I say I want, I want a Damier, uh, sorry, I want a Damier Bin Speedy B25. I find these the most amazing grab and go crossbody shoulder bag fits everything and more that you need and is so so handy this guy is just my complete bang around i don't worry about it and i definitely will review it and do a wear and tear um, and go over everything on it that is definitely a review i have to get around to this is my eva clutch i'm so attached to this bag my husband got this for me as a gift from 
the Louis Vuitton when it was the Maison Louis Vuitton on Castle Ray Street before it moved to King Street and George Street, the, cr the corner of King Street and George Street. It was on Castle Ray Street and this is my Eva Clutch in monogram print and it is so gorgeous. It's again another item that will stay with me forever just because of the sentimental value and it's just such a gorgeous clutch bag. Next up is the Queen Bee. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is my Hermes Birkin 35cm in the Togo Leather Gold with gold hardware. On it I have my Louis Vuitton um, m m Mini Mal, <laughs> not Mini Mal, that's the bag, Mal, Maltage Charm uh, there that I got to hang on it to keep the closure shut. I'll take that off. Uh, but this is my Birkin. I absolutely adore it. I would have probably told you I'm not a top handle kind of girl, that I like a shoulder strap or I like crossbody. But for this bag, I will take <laughs> I will take the downfall of having to carry it on the crook of my arm because it truthfully is just such an iconic bag. It's a monumental bag. When you carry it, it's just it's just so, so beautiful. It is beautiful to carry. It's a work of art. I got this bag off Brandoff. Oh, sorry, Brandoff on eBay, a Japan consignment store again. I did a big vlog sale before I purchased this bag, but I knew that I wanted to get a very smooshy, broken-in Birkin, and I achieved that as a gift to myself for my pregnancy with my new baby boy Masi. So I achieved such a big goal of getting this back. Next up my Chanel GST Grand Shopper Tote. This is now discontinued new by Chanel and they have definitely tried to replace it with designs and I think it is truthfully the biggest sin. I don't think they should ever have discontinued it. They definitely could have just remodeled it by putting feet on the bottom or maybe doing a closure and a few other things, longer, a little bit longer straps, but they didn't have to discontinue it. I think it is honestly just blasphemy. It is such a classic Chanel bag with the diamond quilting and the pocket on the back. It is such a functional bag, truthfully, with the internals. It's just amazing. I got this beautiful bag <laughs> on the pre-love market from fashionfile.com. I don't reach for it often. It's uh, probably, yeah, not that sort of reach, grab and go sort of bag. You have to commit to the handles. They fit on your shoulders, but you just have to commit to the size. But this is my GST in caviar leather black with gold hardware. Of course, to my newest bag in my collection, this is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damier Ebin print. You're probably sick of seeing this, but I will show it to you. On the side, I have my uh, coated leather luggage tag in the large with the um, Chinese New Year monkey stamped down there that I got in Singapore. I just recently purchased this off fashionfile.com, pre-loved, and it was in amazing condition. I'll leave the unboxing below, but I'm so obsessed with it. I think this size is fantastic, and now I may be looking for one in Azure. Pre-loved. Just saying. Which brings me to my last bag. And if I did get one in Azure, would mean I had three Neverfulls. These are my number one throw-in throw on your shoulder carefree tote bag yes the straps can get a bit sore because it does get a bit heavy and they're quite thin the straps but uni new mummy uh run around business bag this i used as my briefcase when i first got it this is my louis vuitton never full in the gm size in monogram canvas it was my first ever vuitton bag that i bought i bought it in surface paradise Louis Vuitton on Elkhorn Road, Elkhorn Avenue, and I was so incredibly excited that I could achieve this bag. Back when I bought it, I will tell you, it was $920. That's how much this bag was when I first bought it, brand new. 
and the vachette was like bright white and now look at it it's just so beautiful and i've had it hot stamped there with jc on the chap and another massively sentimental bag i just adore this bag it is so beautiful and can fit everything including mussy and the kitchen sink okie doke that is everything that is all my current handbag collection i do have my key pole this is my vintage key pole 50 bandolier in monogram print and i did get this off Japan consignment store called Gallery Rare. They are fantastic. I always leave all my Japan consignment stores below and I just, they, it's just fantastic items in such good condition, no smell and just really, really beautiful. So that's where I got my key pull from. But other than that, that is my updated handbag collection. But that is it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Again, if you have any questions or want me to review any of these bags, leave it in the comments below and I sure will get to that. I hope everybody is doing really well, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.